my friends didn't understand why I liked him. I would sit with them at school lunchtimes, bring the CD booklet and point out the lyrics that meant the most to me. It was too hard convincing someone when they were too simple to look beyond the simplistic appeal of Zane, Harry and that loser virgin one. Kieran J. Callanan, you are my dream boy. One time at lunch, a girl came up to me and started talking to me about Kieran, and I felt like I finally had found the friend I was looking for. I even complimented her on her skirt. She seemed cool. But then she said she only listened to one of his songs and preferred more honest Triple J artists. I don't care how much you listen to Grizzly Bear, you bitch. I ended the conversation and turned to my friend Jessie once she had left. That is the ugliest effing skirt I have ever seen. At least my mum understood. She would come into my room while I was spread-eagled on my back, clutching my headphones, and listen to me babble about him like a dork in between songs. She'd listen wide-eyed as I told her about how he was totally breaking gender norms by wearing dresses occasionally. She told me she could relate because her favourite album when she was a teenager was The Man Who Sold the World by Davy Boo Boo or something. And he wore a dress on the front cover of that album. Don't make me talk about her though, she's so fucking old. One time I was doing my homework in the kitchen when Landslide came on and she said she liked it. This is a pretty good song, Belle. Reminds me of my music. I like Fleetwood Mac's Landslide better though. No one appreciates Stevie Nicks anymore. I couldn't believe she would compare Kieran to that lesbo. I glared at her. She's such a fucking bitch, Mum. You just don't understand, okay? She smiled benignly and moved out of the room, humming Fleetwood Mac. It was November the 3rd. My bags were packed haphazardly for my flight in two hours. Tonight I was seeing Kieran, my love, play in Melbourne. It's a really cool city. I think I might move there when I finish school. I'd like to be part of all the alternative culture, you know? The show that night was the wildest thing I'd ever been to. I even called that girl halfway through the set. She said she'd grown to like Kieran and doesn't listen to Matt Corby and Passenger anymore. I fucking love her so much. After the show I waited around with the stragglers for him to come out. I remember holding my breath like I was on Oxycontin. He eventually came out to meet the fans. I was the last one he spoke to. I was too nervous to go before anyone else. When his eyes locked on mine, I felt like I was magnetic. When he touched my hand as I passed over my ticket to get signed, I swore that I felt it, the electric surge. There was a world within him, and whenever we looked at each other, I became a part of that universe. Two different planets encircling each other on a diagonal axis. The boy I kissed just after I turned 18 was nothing like this. We talked for a few hours after that. When he had to go, he leaned down, kissed me on the cheek, and put a crumpled piece of paper in my hand. It was gilded with little crushed rose petals, and right in the middle, scrawled in perfect writing, was a phone number, sealed with a kiss. That's so you, Kieran.